Hello, lovely people of the world. Magandang araw sa inyong lahat. Anyways, everyone. Ahlan wa This is Justin. Sarah. And baby Jaden. Baby Jaden's here. Ay. Look at this. Obsessed. Look at this chunky boy. Look at all them folds. <laughs> All right, in today's video, we will be talking about something really intimate and private that happened in our home very recently. So, as you guys know, with every single baby of ours, I'm not sure if you have followed along in our story, but we've always had this really special celebration. Not their birthdays, um, aside from the day that they were born, we also make sure to celebrate um, the Korean tradition of the 100th day of age. So baby Jaden here had a very private, very intimate 100 day celebration. And we are going to tell you why it was private because we actually did not invite anybody except our family members. So my mom was already there. We are waiting on my sister to arrive, and she has not arrived yet with her kids. Um, so we were just waiting, and then the doorbell rang. I went up to the door first, and I noticed the silhouette was not that of my sister, but of a man in a hat. So I immediately called out to Justin. I said, boo, someone's at the door. Any ideas? Guess who it was? Now that Jaden has just turned four months old, he's really growing so fast. And being busy parents to his two toddler siblings makes it challenging to keep up with baby Jaden's developmental needs, which is why I'm so grateful for Love Every. If you're not familiar with Love Every, it's a company that makes stage specific play kits for newborns up to five years of age. And um, each play kit is designed by a team of experts, researchers, and academics, and thoughtfully crafted with safe, sustainable materials. Jaden loves looking at himself in the mirror and now enjoys tummy time while playing with the crinkle bag. You can tell he's learning through developmental play. I love that each play kit takes the guesswork out and gives me peace of mind knowing that our baby's developmental needs are being met saves me a lot of time of having to research myself and I'm no longer stressing. And I honestly wish I knew about Love Every earlier for both our girls. It's not too late though. Getting started is easy. Simply click the link in the description below. You'll see it right here too. And become a Play Kit subscriber. You simply enter your child's birth date, pick your starting Play Kit, and choose your subscription plan. That's it. Love Every even provides a support specialist who can customize your subscription so you get the right playthings at the right time for your child. We personally received the Charmer Kit for baby Jaden, which targets three to four months of age. And you can expect to receive a new play kit every two to three months. It's the perfect gift for busy parents and your little love. So get yours today. So I opened the door and it was my dad. At the door. <laughs> right? <laughs> that was my expression too. I was like, oh, is it? So what happened, one week prior to this 100 day celebration, I actually went over to my parents' house and we discussed about that, how we are planning a 100 day celebration in our house. And, and I told them they will really appreciate it if they can make it to the 100 day celebration for baby Jaden. Um, I handed them a photo album of Jaden. About 10 days after Jaden was born, we had a photo shoot. And I printed out some of those and put it into an album and gave it to them. So they were going through those albums. They were making comments how he looks really healthy and strong. He's very aware. Um, and after they gone through the photos, I pulled up my phone and showed them some videos of Jaden. And both of them were very impressed how aware he was and how he's 
um, responding to stimuli. When I tried to talk to him, he would babble back at me. And my mom also made a comment that this baby will grow up to be really big, even bigger than me, she said. <laughs> and also on my phone, I pulled up some of my old photos from when I was baby, from the day when I had my 100 day celebration. And in that photo, there was my grandparents in the background. And then I said to my parents that I really wish that my kids could have these kind of photos so they can remember um, how they grew up. And when I the, when I asked them to come to our house for the 100 day celebration for Jaden, my dad said he might come. But my mom said flat out no because she thinks she has shingles and she doesn't want to pass it on to anybody. So then I said, well then I'll come over here on that day and pick him up. And he said, yeah, that sounds like a good plan, but a um, we'll couple see. days before the the celebration uh, we'll have a phone conversation and find out whether i can actually go through with it or not so that conversation took place one week prior to the party and two days prior to the party i get a phone call from my dad and he was calling to confirm about the party and i said yes it's still happening it's for lunch and he said that mom my mom will drop him off instead of me going over there to pick him up and they also said mom will come pick up my dad after the party as well hold up they told you all this ahead of time yeah then you didn't care to share it with me i did share it with him maybe you just forgot mm -hmm. and then on the day of the party when my dad showed up at the door my mom was a couple steps behind my dad and she had um a bucket of food with her and one was uh, Korean seaweed soup another was Korean uh, soy garlic fried chicken actually let me go back and one week prior to the party when I went over to visit them my parents were asking um, what kind of food is Jaden eating and I said <laughs> he is uh, exclusively breastfeeding yeah breastfeeding and on the day of the party, my mom had made a seaweed soup and brought it over. And the significance of that is that in, in Korean tradition, you're supposed to have the seaweed soup for the, the new mothers because they will, you know, cleanse their body and produce, help them produce uh, more nutritious milk and so on. And so so that the thought that my mom made seaweed soup for um, everybody, including my wife, I thought it was very touching. Oh yeah. Like my sister and I cried <laughs> in one corner. <laughs> basically, when I saw his dad's silhouette at the door, I basically ran back to Justin here. I was like, honey, someone's at the door. <laughs> Who's that? Because <laughs> I did not expect his mom or dad to show up. And um, yeah, and then he opened the door and I was behind the door, a couple, few steps behind the door, so I didn't really see who he was talking to. But you could tell Justin was speaking in Korean, so I was like, oh my goodness, is that really his dad? And it felt, or it, it seemed as if his dad was not going to enter the house, because he kind of entered the house and then ran back out. So I said, oh, I guess they're leaving. Um, I was surprised to hear a woman's voice in the background, because then that would indicate that, that, that Justin's mom was also at the doorstep. So I was like, oh my goodness. So I kind of ran back to the living room where my mom was and I said mom I think Justin's mom and dad are here and she's like oh really but even she didn't want to go to the door because she was like she didn't want to sort of intervene she wanted to see if they felt comfortable enough to come into the house I guess but yeah we both my mom and I were just inside the house in the living room just waiting to find out are they coming in or are they just coming to say hi to Jaden and they're gonna leave because then I think you took Jaden out, didn't I, you? I took kids one one at a time. I Oh, the girls? Yeah, I, I think I first brought Sabrina out. I put shoes on Sabrina and had them go out, out to the front porch and have her meet both uh, my mom and my dad. And then I took turns. I put I brought Sabrina back in the house and then brought Chanel out, do the same thing. And then lastly, I brought Jaden out 
to the front porch and so that they, they all could see how he looks like. And then eventually my dad came into the house and my mom left and then we had our party started. I was really touched that his dad decided to join in the celebration. His mom, however, had to go back home and it was just shocking, honestly, for all of us that, oh my goodness, he, his dad actually entered the home, sat on the dining table, and not only that, like, we were super touched at the fact that Justin's mom bothered to contribute food, home-cooked Korean authentic food <laughs> um, for Jaden's celebration, I guess, because that, in the past, none of, neither one of his parents has ever shown up to our girls 100 day celebration so yeah this was extremely special and it felt like a move or a step in the right direction um, and then shortly after my sister arrived and she was surprised when I had to give her a heads up I'm like his dad is here she's like what? <laughs> like his dad is here he's at the dining table and then she entered and she's like oh my goodness and she didn't know how to greet him and I told her don't hug him give him handshake because he doesn't know you yet you don't want to make him feel awkward or uncomfortable so, and we didn't know, like, what was a good sign of respect? I asked Justin, I said, should we be bowing when he first sees that? And he's like, no, just shake his hand. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> or just say hi. So that's what my sister did. She said hi. And then, yeah. Your but, dad sat there. Yeah, but it took a boy for them to come over to um, take part in their 100 day celebration. It took our third child. Yeah. It took that much time for his parents to, you know, finally step foot, well, into our home, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, his mom did not even enter the doorway, um, so I didn't get to see her. First thing we did when everybody arrived was we took a photo. So we dressed Jaden up in his uh, Korean traditional dress called Hanbo. Okay. Yeah, and we set him down in the table surrounded by some food and we were all standing behind the table and we took this photo and right after we took this photo I handed Jaden over to my dad and my dad actually was carrying Jaden in his arms and he was saying something to him in Korean mm -hmm. <laughs> The little part that I uh, that I heard was my dad said to Jaden, "Do you know what today is? Today is your hundredth day. Uh, I wish you to grow up to be healthy and uh, be successful. And something like along those lines." Um, oh. And obviously, at that time, Jaden was feeling really sleepy, so we had to put him down for a nap, and then the rest of us had our lunch. The lunch went well. Um, Jaden basically slept the entire afternoon, <laughs> as of lunchtime, all the way until Justin's dad had to leave. So, I guess it was kind of sad. Um, I was sad that he didn't get to spend as much time with Jaden. We didn't anticipate that Jaden would be sleeping that long, but he must have been really exhausted from the day before or something like that. I think there was an event. We had an, a party to attend the day before. So yeah, he must have been exhausted from that. But yeah, um, all throughout the lunch, Justin and um, his dad were sitting at the dining table with the girls, our girls. and. Yeah, Justin was feeding our girls and the dad was enjoying his meal. I'm not sure if he's enjoying his meal. I was in the background sort of like in the kitchen with my sister. Um, just, you know, asking Justin like, hey, does your dad want to try this food? Does your dad want to have any more of what he's eating? Um, would he like something, you know, to drink and stuff like that just to make him comfortable? I didn't want to address his dad directly because he seemed like... I don't know, he seemed really quiet 
um, really reserved, I mean. So I felt like maybe just he'll be more comfortable if Justin was the only one talking to him at this point. But we did exchange smiles uh, plenty of times. My sister as well tried to make a bit of small talk and I was kind of, here sis, come over here. <laughs> let him be, let him enjoy his meal and let him, you know, take in these moments where he's sharing a meal with his grand girl, granddaughters, grand girls, his granddaughters and, you know, being able to just be there physically to celebrate his grandson's 100th day so it was very honestly we were in disbelief and at the same time it was very heartwarming my sister and i at one point um sort of hid in one corner and we started just crying together just tears of joy because we were just so touched at the fact that this is finally happening so yeah at one point, I asked my dad, how does it feel to finally meet your grandson? And his response was, I'm just, you know, glad that he's healthy and I wish that he continued to be healthy. Aww. He didn't say much beyond that. He's a man of few words. Wonder where Justin got that from. <laughs> and then what else happened? Also, uh, we did not invite any friends. Um, because yeah we had a hunch i mean his dad never confirmed whether he was coming or not so in you know out of respect for him to give him sort of the space to make him feel more comfortable we figured we would keep the celebration more intimate so unfortunately we did not invite our friends this time around we decided that we'll just invite them for the kids birthdays for example but for the 100th day we wanted to allow justin's parents the space and the respect of feeling more comfortable in an intimate setting so yeah i hope your dad felt comfortable he still felt he seemed really quiet but i'm hoping did, did he say anything in english to anybody i think he told he talked to shireen i don't remember if they had any conversation or, or was i the only one who was talking i think that? okay so you didn't notice but you were basically the only one he was talking to my sister the only time she talked to him was like um, when she first said hi, so good to see you finally, something like that. And he was like saying something. I don't know if he said hello back or he said thank you or something. But yeah. That, so you didn't notice that you were the no. only one he was talking to. Yeah, I, I don't know how much of English my dad speaks at this point. A few years ago when I asked him, you know, how's your English? And then his response was his English is very rusty because he doesn't have opportunity to use it anymore so I think he forgot a lot of um, English words and English grammars but yeah um, he didn't seem to have eaten much um, but definitely my sister myself and mom my mom um, really enjoyed his mom's cooking <laughs> the seaweed soup was bomb it hit the spot and his um, mom's soy chicken was also really tasty. The kids actually enjoyed it too. So yeah, mm. really, really thankful and grateful for his parents for, you know, making this day his day, Jaden's day, extra special and for going through lengths um, to actually cook a home-cooked meal. And that was a huge serving as well, you guys. It wasn't just a tiny serving. I bet they didn't know um, how many people were gonna be there, but I'm hoping that your dad will be able to go back to your mom and sort of give her um, A rundown of hey, it was a very intimate setting. I was not I hope he wasn't uncomfortable um, so that hopefully um, We could continue to invite your parents to the future birthdays I'm thinking it doesn't need to be a birthday. It could just be any Any, any, any weekend, right? Right, right, right. I mean, what can that happen, right? Exactly. Just any ordinary weekend, they can come over and look and okay, play with the Okay, tomorrow. Kids. <laughs> and he's like, mm. <laughs> okay, tomorrow then, Papa. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, hold your horses. <laughs> Slow your roll. So yeah, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section before were saying that, oh, because now they have a boy. Now that we've had a boy, things are going to change in the sense his parents will start wanting to get involved. Because he will be the next generation of the Park family name, right? He'll be the one who'll be carrying the name Park in the future. 
I still strongly disagree. I feel like, you know what? <laughs> the way things are going right now or progressing, um, any of our daughters could just simply keep, like they could keep their names even if they do get married. No, but we're talking about their kids, like Sabrina's oh, kids. Oh, okay. They realize I share the same last name as you, right? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I don't think they know. What do you mean? Because <laughs> they don't treat me like family. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. So two hours after Justin's father's stay and you know enjoying the lunch and all that, I um, just came out of the washroom to check on Jaden because Jaden was napping upstairs. And as I was walking past the front door, I noticed there was like the silhouette of a woman sort of hunched over sort of like prying through our front windows and i was like oh my gosh someone is trying to break in or i don't know or just being nosy like a nosy neighbor and then suddenly i went up to the front door to see like who is that like who is this person and all of a sudden the silhouette of his mom and my silhouette sort of met at like because there's a glass window on our front door and then i st <laughs> i just froze and then i suddenly like backed up slowly and i was like honey honey someone's at the door and then the doorbell rang. Yeah, so it was my mom coming back <laughs> to pick up my dad. Uh, so we, um, yeah, we had to clean up the Tupperware. They brought the food in so we can return those Tupperwares back. So, Plus you took the girls out again. Yeah, and I took the girls out. Out onto our front steps. Yeah, and then I asked Sabrina, okay, say, say bye, Grandpa, and then she sat there. And I also told um, Chanel to say, say, say bye, 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 Grandpa, and then she said it, and bye, bye, Grandma, she said it. In English. In yeah. English, mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I always wondered about that. Should they be calling them by the Korean Grandpa, Korean Grandma? It's a little mouthful, so. What is it? Uh, Harabaji and Harmony. It's, Harmony? Yeah. yeah. Harmony's for Grandma? Yeah. That's so cute! I can call her Harmony. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> right, yeah. So now we're calling this boy our golden boy. <laughs> so, so strange thing was, uh, as my mom and dad were getting into their car, mm -hmm. Sabrina and Chanel were out in the front yard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Sabrina was actually following them and she almost tried to get in their car with them. What? So I had to stop her from getting in the car. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> so yeah, um, in case you guys are wondering, his mother and I never laid eyes on each other. Except through that stained glass that in the was, front door. <laughs> that was the extent of our meeting. Um, I didn't want her to feel terrorized. I don't know, like, I know it's our home and I should have, like, said hello and greeted them. But at the same time, I didn't want to stand in the way of his parents making the decision right then and there at the doorstep whether they should proceed with entering the home or just keep their distance, right? So I was like, I'm just gonna stay back and see if his mom would wanna enter the home as well. But she didn't want to because of the whole shingles thing and I mean, your dad was exposed to the shingles if ever, if it is shingles at all and also now your dad sat down with everybody. Mind you guys, no, none of us, like we're all healthy, none of us ever caught anything. So I'm hopeful that what his mom had was not shingles. Um, but it's always good to be careful, I guess. Because even my sister understood, and my mom, like they were not offended at all. They said, oh, we understand if she's suspecting that she has shingles, then probably best that she keeps her distance as well. But. And, and she doesn't want to go see a doctor, so we have no idea whether she actually has shingles or not. It's a self-diagnosis. <laughs> Based on Dr. Google. In Korea. <laughs> Korea TV news, right? Yeah. Alright. So there you it. have it. It finally happened. Um, his dad met baby Jaden and stepped foot into our home. His mother um, met baby Jaden. From and distance. From a distance. Uh, like Maybe like... Uh, 10 feet away. Like, oh. I, I, I was carrying Jaden and was bringing closer to mom. My mom was backing away, so I, I never got closer than 10 feet from her. Okay. But what did your mom say about him? Any words? At that time, she didn't say anything. She was just staring into his eyes as I was walking closer and she was backing oh. away. She, was, she had her eyes locked in. But did she smile? With Jaden. 
Was she smiling? Uh, Not really. Just neutral face, but eyes were like locked in to, to Jaden. But what compliments did he make in the past? In the past, like, it, she said that this boy is gonna grow up to be really tall and big. She mentioned something about his eyes, like all your kids' eyes are big. Yeah, they have big eyes. And I was like, you're welcome. <laughs> So mean. <laughs> oh my goodness. They got nice big lips too. They got mama's lips. You got mama's lips? But yes. So our boy as of today is four months old. It is the month of August. So he turned four months of age on August 1st. And he's tipping the scales at 14 pounds 10 ounces. Don't ask about his height. It's like it's a little short. 68 centimeters or something. Okay, on the growth chart, he his weight is on the 25th percentile. And on the growth chart, his height is on the 10th percentile. So, he's a short, stubby boy. A short, stubby boy. And a short... He's hungry right now, you guys. And our girls, in case you're wondering, are both downstairs trying to take a nap. The reason we're filming this without them is because it's just chaos. <laughs> if they were here, we would not we would not be able to get any of our thoughts out. We'd be distracted saying, Sabrina, hey, uh, Chanel, hey, hey, Sabrina, hey. Get them so, from there. Exactly. And then you guys, and like, where were we? <laughs> It'll be a long video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Sorry that we haven't been... Uh, I keep saying this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I'm really sorry. That we haven't been able to put out enough videos as often as we want to. We're just enjoying our time with baby Jaden here. And you know, quality time with our girls. And also Justin is back at work now since going on parental leave. So yeah, been keeping busy. Yep, yep. We're getting the hang of things though because um, this boy actually sleeps through the night. He only wakes up, usually wakes up only once for a feed. Last night is a totally different story. <laughs> Since he turned four months, all of a sudden it's like, whoa. He's back at waking up for more than one feed. And I'm like, what is going on? And then I heard that it's a four-month regression. So yeah, that's a short update. Very talkative. Not today, no. Not right now because he's hungered. You want to say hi with your drooly face? Drooly face, my drooly face. Julius, Julius, look at you, Jewel, Jewel, Jewel. So sing the song, I'm a chunky boy. I'm a chunky boy in a chunky world. My thighs are so big. They're fantastic. You can touch my hair. Uh huh. Just barely any bear. Imagination. Drool is your creation. Oh. Come on, Jaden, let's go party. Mm. Uh, 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 yeah. Come on, Jaden, let's go party. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Mm. He looks like me, right, guys? He looks like Mama. He looks like me, right? He looks like uh, Mama. <laughs> his smiling face is totally me. His resting face is totally me. <laughs> He smiles with his tongue out, and that's exactly how I smiled when I was a baby. Are you gonna show a photo? Oh, sure. Okay. Everyone says he looks like me. I think he looks like me. Actually, no, everyone says he looks like Justin, except for one of my friends, and yeah, just one. Just like, nope, he's a mini youth. So, yeah. Thank you guys for all your support and for watching. We're gonna try to put out more videos. Like I always say. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching. And be sure to like, subscribe, comment. And we'll see you in our next video. Love you. Bye. Bye.